evening, everybody, and a very warm welcome to Virtual Sim League Season 12, Round 8. The second, well, the second phase of the season is about to come to an end with the Hungaroring for the Hungarian Grand Prix and the first race under the Iron Curtain. My name is Jess Ball, and joining me once again in the commentary box is Mata. Mata, how are you doing? Hello, Jess. We're back. I'm hungry for hungry. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's go. Oh, you, you nicked my pun. I was about I was about to say a pun earlier <laughs> later on, but you, you nicked it now, so I won't I won't say because otherwise people will think, oh, you're copying matter. But yeah, 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 annoying that. But yeah, the Hungaroring first used in Formula One in about the 1970s and 80s. Some people like to call it, as I did in my tweet, Monaco without the barriers, because I know, like we've seen in previous VSR races in the past. We can get a few safety cars, um, which can be quite interesting. We will go through standings, but I think we may as well go through it during the two-minute break because we, we, we won't have time to cover free qualifying. But what, what we saw last week, we saw Finley take the race win and the fastest lap. But the big storyline for tonight, he's not here. His wheels broke and he can't race on controller. So our championship leader is not racing. Yeah. True dedication there. <laughs> True dedication to the game. So yeah, he's not he's not racing tonight, but I think we're placing him in at the Alpha Tower. He's gonna be Kieran, so no pressure, Kieran. He is a BSL champion in the past anyway. So uh no, no, no pressure to him or anything like that. No pressure to all the other reserves tonight. I think we've got Kev that's not in tonight either. Gareth for placing him. Um, I think both Alpha Tauris are missing tonight as well because Tony P. Oh, no. oh yeah, yeah, no, Tony P's racing. So, yeah, it's yeah, it's Tony P's racing and Waitsy for placing Finley. My bad. So, I, I, I'm getting. Oh, Kieran's in the Alpine. Oh, my, 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 my team are, are twisted, twisted tonight. It, it, it's crazy. But, yeah, last week F Finley won and we saw uh, Indigo get second. And who got third? I can't remember. It was, I think, Waitsy who got first. So Waitsy had a good showing last week. And he's looking to get another result here tonight. But we're about to get into Quali as Yarham's about to start his lap. And I think he's the only one on the medium tyres as well as he heads towards turn four and five. Gets on the, gets on the power. He's on in seventh gear as well. These are the corners where I think you have to... Lift a little bit. Oh, Al, did he not invalidate through there? Through uh, to the, the exit. That, that was very, very lucky. I think the drivers He's have been... pushing those limits. Yeah, but he is pushing those limits, but they are finding their ways to extend it a little bit without giving too much away. On towards the end of the second sector into the final sector coming up. Now, what's it sector two going to be? It's going to be a 54.374. So we'll, we'll compare that a little bit later on as Casper goes fastest, by the way, with a 1.15.9. So expect time to go, I think, a bit quicker than that. I think probably high 1.15s, maybe 1.14s if we get fast enough lap times. So Yarham up to the line. He's done well here before. What can he do tonight as he goes second on the means with a 1.16.1, Matt? I think we could see people going quicker. Yeah, well, Casper's uh, instantly on Twitter there with a 15.9. So um, I'm expecting drivers in the low 15s, really, um, around the low 15 uh, fives or, or lower than that. Um, again, you've got 14 minutes left, so the tracks are even going to evolve. Uh, you've got a couple of drivers on the intermediate, so um, as JP's done a 22 on the inters, so uh, I don't think um, he'll be getting pole with that. Uh, we have got a few drivers with a qualifying ban tonight. Um, so, uh, yes. I need to find out who that is. I have written the stewards. I have written the well, Gareth's written the stewards report. I copied and pasted it all onto my Word document. Ah. So, I, I should be, I, I, I'll talk to you about that in a minute as we're seeing a few more people finishing their laps. Leroy, who didn't even make it past turn one last week, goes up to the line in third place as a Tony P goes to round turn four. So the ones who have got qualifying bans is... Buh, 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 buh. 
In my, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to see, actually. Um, I think it's just JTX, I think. But he's not here tonight. People on the warning. He's not here tonight, so next week. Um, yeah, there was a bit of a blocking incident, but Michelle got a three set of penalty instead. Yeah, I think it was, with, and, and it was Cam, um, I think, as well, um, because yeah, they yeah. were tired on track. I get you. Yeah, I did call it. I did, I did call, I did call it. I was like, you're not meant to do that, but there were some people that did it at, at the end of the race, so it's all good. Bingo's back tonight. Um, long time favourite feature of mine in this league. But anyway, Ahmed goes across. Oh, well, and the Panama at few corners. He was very bad on the exit there, so he's going to lose a bit of time going through there. He's struggling a little bit to get the car settled in towards the final corner, but he is just a warm-up lap at the end of the day as he goes up to the line, 117.892. Speed Knighton is going through sector one right now. He's kept it valid so far. I thought it was an invalidation, but it wasn't. Fastest uh, first sector. Well, it's not telling me who's far. Oh, yes. Fastest first sector belongs to Michelle with a 27.3. Fastest middle sector belongs to Lewis Craig. And fastest final sector belongs to Casper. So no one has got uh, fastest in every set so far. So I think we can see times going quicker. What speed Knighton's middle set? Uh, well, we're going to find out in just a moment. He says 27.9 middle setter. And it's going to be, he crossed the line, 55.7 middle set, which translates to a 27.7. So, at the moment, looks like he's fast, his middle set. No, no, he's not fast. Uh, no, he's not fast, middle set. Okay, a 26.8, I saw from Gasper. Not a 28, as I was reading. Um, I, I, I got it on my other screen, that's probably why. But Pete goes up to the line, and it's going to be a 118.0. Puts himself into P11. That's the yeah. first few I, times I on the board. I think he backed out of that, Jess, to be fair. I think yeah, he, he backed off. Just, yeah, he did. Yeah, because it looked... Um, well, he's not really pushing at all, I think. So he must have high fuel or something. Or is he pushing now? <laughs> There's no red spot, red uh, line on his... Uh, I think... Oh, oh, now, he's pushing so now. I think he might be pushing he's now. Put, yeah, he's pushing yeah. now. It was a slow so... turn once. So I was like, oh, okay. But, yeah, because yeah, I thought he was so on a lap. He must have made it... a mistake somewhere. Yeah, he, he, he might... weren't invalidated. Oh. He's five cents up already in the first sector, so... Yeah, he's on, he's on something here, the Merc driver. Over speed, Knight. 27.420 in. in the first sector. So that's two temps shy of Leroy's fastest first sector. So he, he's up on the pace, uh, Pete, in, in, in there. So the middle sector, he's got to be in the 20 in the low 27s in order to do so. He's 1.2 yeah. seconds quicker. 27.1, that's looking more like it for Pete Knighton. Yeah, he made a bit of a mistake there in the uh, fast right-hander there when it tried it a bit too fine, so he would have lost, well, probably, well, probably half a second or not, or more. Um, so, But it'll still set enough, a decent time, obviously on used tyres, so it's not going to be pole, but it'll push him around fifth, which it does. Um, so good uh, position there for Pete. Obviously not a great last... Uh, few rounds for him being near the back end of the points um but hopefully he can be back inside the top 10 tonight and uh, with a bit of luck and uh, yeah we'll see um but i don't know if you notice as well jess but uh, tony parr is back with us this week uh missed a few races this season yes he's he back is here tonight. he's not he's not golfing um he's decided to play a game for once so um yeah he's, he's trying to find himself in 10th uh two tenths quicker than uh, ahmed um, but uh, in, the, in the battle of the uh, wooden spoon this season, uh, well, most races anyway, obviously, Matt Ryan's obviously a further ahead in the championship, but in terms of the wooden spoon, most races, uh, Ahmed is currently leading that ahead of Matt Ryan. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. and obviously we haven't really seen uh, JP set a competitive lap yet. So uh, as Yarham does a 15-5, proving my point that Paul's going to be low 15. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought, I, I had a feeling it was going to be that. We did see Nick go fast by three times and then Yarham was like, nope. If anything he could do, I could do better. So we're obviously Finley not here tonight. Nick is currently second in the championship. He can have a he. Uh, we see Finley in the chat who's hoping that he doesn't do well tonight because he wants someone who's last in the championship <laughs> who's got the wooden spoon, like you were saying, to uh, to win. So uh, the advantage is not wasted by Finley's sake, as it were. But uh, uh, Waitsy hasn't set a lap yet. He's going to go up to the line. He goes third with a 115.8, quite close near the top. Uh, Glock 
who I think is on a lap time. Yes, he is. Hopefully he's going to set one. He's got a bit of traffic. Purple first sector. Will that translate to actual purple first sector? Or is it the game telling Porky Pies? 27-1. It's not purple Lekitu first sector. Lakitu back in third. Oh, it's third. Lakitu back in the third, 15, yeah. Six. Lakitu's not doing a lot better on this game than I, and I've seen in previous games, actually. He's got used to this, this game a, a lot more. So I think he's found his feet a little bit and not far behind the top two. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just going back on, I'm riding on board with Locke and uh, he's absolutely flying at the moment. Oh, Judy shows bit, out. Anyway. Judy shows her side, so he's lost it in the first corner. Uh, we'll probably review that one. <laughs> oh, he always <laughs> left the session. session. Okay. okay. Oh, anyway, here okay. comes Glock. <laughs> Glock, who hasn't had a pole in a long time, lets to start the bat no. multiple times. What can he do this week? 153. Yeah, and I think he may be extending the... Uh, the pole record lap in VSL here. <laughs> yes. Come on, you know I have. <laughs> yes, yeah, 15 free. How many poles does Glock have, by the way? Uh, 13 poles in VSL. 13 and poles. It's a it's a me. Well, I'm I'm in second with 12. So. Oh. Um, but yeah. 20. So. He, he set. He didn't. The only set to be set purple was was uh, the middle sector. So he wasn't yeah, fastest well, was, in the yeah, other. I'm bored with him in that middle sector, and he was yeah. He, 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 he was on it. Was <laughs> he, he was, he on, was it. on it. it oh, he said he's purple first sector as well. Oh, interesting. Someone apparently has done a 14-1 in the final sector, which I don't believe. Um, that's just probably the time and tying a bit of a hissy fit. But Stevens also about this week in the McLaren. Obviously got a lot to prove in the McLaren seat this season. They're kind of sitting second in the Constructors' Championship. I need to remember where Stephen is, is in the drivers. He's 19th in the drivers. That does that does count reserves, by the way. But still, that is not last. He's not last in the championship, which is great to see from Stephen. Settling quite decently to this tier, but surely he would want to improve quite a bit as he goes up to the line. And I think he's going to go again and do what Pete did and do another lap soon uh jp goes up to the line in 13th most people in 16 116s matt it's uh yeah it's uh pretty close um obviously with the top uh six well top six top <laughs> just no class with uh 15 but obviously those guys are in the uh 15s and the rest of them are in, uh, in 16s all the way down to uh steven's in the 17th so you've got a bit of a three version pack or a three pack um people in the 15s people in the 16s people in the 17s um but uh yeah i think it's pretty close um in the battle of uh army uh, april and the uh tony deck and tony uh tony's leading that so uh deck um only close though it's not by seven thousand seven thousands so um yeah, De uh, Deck's going out for his final run, I think, because he's about four minutes left, of, less than four minutes left, uh, five minutes left on the clock. So uh, I think this will be his final run. And uh, hopefully he can beat it. Obviously, uh, Tony Parr's on an... Well, he was on an outlap. I think he's on an outlap. He's on um, an inlap. Doesn't say not. Yeah, or he's on an inlap, sorry. So he's just improved then, or probably not. Um, but uh, yeah, one one driver that surprised me right at the moment is JP down in 13th. Um, He's had a good few rounds. I remember Spain earlier in the in the season. Yes. He got fifth or sixth. Uh, that really surprised me. But uh, yeah, being below Pete at the moment, behind Ways as well. Um, not being. I, I was expecting a top ten from him to be fair, but thirteenth uh, at the moment. So obviously struggling to find uh, a lap, uh, which is obviously tricky to do. Uh, you're either on it a hundred or you're not. So uh, and when you're not, it, you, you're struggling really. Um, but uh, yeah, Casper's on his outlap. Um, Nick is on a lap, is he? Uh, no, Nick I don't think he is. He's not. No. He, no, he's. There's a lot of people uh, doing this, going on banker yeah. laps and then going on a soft run right now because I think they feel like they can get heat into their tyres. Or is it the game just telling a bit of porky pies right now? But uh, yeah, it's it's, quite a lot. Of oh, he's coming to the pits. But, um, oh, he's coming to the pits. So never mind. Then he's coming. He's backing out of that one. He's probably going on. He's probably. He's, he's probably got enough soft <laughs> he's anyway. He's already set. Yeah, yeah. He's already set one lap. Yeah, he, 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 he only set one lap anyway. So he's still got some fresh softs um, remaining. 
So Casper, speed nine turn are on out laps. Deck yeah, is I think on a lap. Deck is slowing down. It, he's, he's not really on a lap. No, he's uh, not on a lap I either. I thought he was, but he's just, I think he's warming up again. Um, which, I've seen that in one hub in Mexico, actually, um, at the week, at the, on Sunday. Um, there was a few divers going for, a, you know, another extra lap on tyres that, you know, you normally would go just it, one lap. And it, was co it, was common, it was common, it, um, it was common in the tier I was commentating on as well. We yeah, had a, quite a few people do that. Yeah. So... Uh, I was racing uh, P1 actually, 16th to 10th. Yeah, you had a you had a you had a good that. result. I, I had OP straight line speed. <laughs> <laughs> what wings were you running? 28, 26. Bloody hell, that's more than me. I think I was. I I, I, I can't I can't oh, remember. I've had Pete's so many races as we got. <laughs> Someone's bottled it. Yeah, um, Pete's bottled it. He had a moment of shame. He took too much curb on the. Uh, on the second part, so uh, he's backing out of that one. I is that one of the bingo lap. cards for tonight? Well, Hold Pete on. bottling it, yeah, it's always yeah. is, isn't it? Pete's spins. Always is. It's there. Pete's well. spins, it's always there. <laughs> he, hasn't, he hasn't spun recently, I don't think. No, he, he has, hasn't. He's, he's calmed himself down, but his pace... <laughs> he hasn't, he hasn't <laughs> spun in this, hasn't he hasn't great. spun in this <laughs> league, but he's spun in yeah, other leagues. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. Ma Matt O'Carr. <laughs> <laughs> But but to uh, be fair, his pace has improved. His pace has improved. Anyway, I think so. Oh, oh, and uh, as soon as I went on board with Casper, he spins. He's going to kill me. Oh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Dex on the left, by the way. So he's he's currently tenth and a half up at, at the uh, end of set to one. So he's now in set to two. Um, this way he can lo mo well, lose and gain the most time if he were uh, committed. Two tenths off of Yarham in the first there. sector. Yeah, so that's not bad. Not many corners though, so. Uh, hard to do wrong there, <laughs> but this is where it's uh, it's also where it counts. Middle set to you, you know, it's uh, if you've got the most downforce, you're doing an absolute kill this here. He's got a guy on a lap in a has. Oh my goodness, that you did, did look at that one. I didn't even see the set to two time, but uh, <laughs> set to two time, to <laughs> hey, he was down in set to two, he, he wasn't oh, even okay, green. So maybe, uh, that will be investigated, yeah. I think. I, th I, yeah, I didn't I think see so. which has it was. That uh, was. It might have been JP. That was, that yes, was, JP, was JP, yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, oh, he's improved by he six improves. tenths. Oh, he's gone ahead of his teammate. Hello. Here we go. He would have been uh, in the 115s, uh, though. Dex going to give uh, Acorn a slipstream here. If he, if he times it. Yes, he is, because he's absolutely backed off so much there. He's no, not doing no, a game no, much, no. Really. You mean Dex going <laughs> to give Lee? Yeah, Dex going to give Leroy a slipstream. I thought you said Dex going to give Acorn a slipstream. No, no, no. Well probably said that as well. Um, <laughs> so, but, uh, uh, I'm guessing up the hill, where he's going to give that so which is a bit of a weird one, to be honest. But uh, are we, are we, uh, I would, I would have done before. it, I would have done it like after the he's first really DRS slow, He's really slow, he's really slow. He's not, he's, well, really, Go faster, that's deck. Work, No, that, that wasn't that's really not, a tow. Uh, no, that wasn't the plan, that, was it, unfortunately? <laughs> Ferrari strategy. Oh, wait, he's purple. Wait, he's purple. Wait, he's purple. I don't know if that's true, but he's purple. He has a bit of a wiggle um, moment, though. Yarham's purple. Yarham's well, purple, purple middle so sector, probably not there. and he's oh, fastest. Oh, Yarham. Oh, 15-1. Whoa, hello. And Glock's okay. purple middle sector as he exits oh, the no, banana corner. We're going in the 14s, Jess. We're going in the 14s. Yeah, and, and uh, wait, he just improved, just below a tenth. Yeah, wait, he has improved. We've got Lakiji purple first sector. Glock's coming up to the line. Glock's going to up to the line. Oh, 15-1. He improves by two tenths, and it's not enough. Nick, oh, he improved by three tenths. It's not enough. What about Lakitu? Lakitu is just over a tenth up here. Is he going to be able to do it? He's up by two setter. tenths. It's not, not, it's not enough unless he smashes these last few corners. There's not many corners to gain much time. But there's unless he made a mistake, there's few more that's where he's going to lose his time. But Lakitu, trying to the line round the last corner. Can he displace Nick? Can he improve so much time? He's only a two tenths up. What's it going to be? Cool. It's a 15 2 improves by three and a half tenths, but it's not enough. Leroy's finished in fifth. Uh, Pete is dead. Um, <laughs> yeah, Michelle, what's Michelle doing? Michelle is 20 seconds down, so that's really exciting. Kieran? Uh, Kieran's five tenths up. What's he going to do? He's going to go above, probably into the top ten, surely. Up to line he goes. He does. P5. Ignore that. I should have said top five. Uh, ignore me. Oh, I'm retiring now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Darius in the pits. He's doing a luster first. Classic Gareth. That's how he won the won the uh, tier two championships. Yeah, that Probably is true. true to good honest. to see. Good to see um. him racing tonight because he was free. He was. Uh, yep. I found out He's where he was from as his well. Trip. 
last yep. week. Yeah, he was in Ireland for St. Patrick's yep. Day. St. Patrick's Day for an Irish wedding. That's it. That, that's very that nice. Been, very uh, nice. Yeah, very. Uh, yeah. Would have Good been, occasion uh, as, well, ever, as well. Yeah. Yeah, would have, yeah. A lot of drink involved. Um, and I think Gareth tried his first in it, actually. Yeah, um, he did. Um, he wasn't that keen on it, uh, he said. He wasn't that keen on it, which I'm, I'm, you know, Gareth's gone down in my estimations there, really. <laughs> um, I've never you know, tried Guinness, so... Never uh, tried? Oh, Jess, you, you, you're missing out. <laughs> I don't like alcohol. Alcohol? Oh, okay. They do, uh, they do Guinness non-alcohol. I've not had that because... I think after... But After I was go. 21, I got <laughs> drunk. And, uh, 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 let, let, let's not talk about alcohol in a, in a uh, family show stream. Uh, um, on that bombshell. <laughs> uh, oh, yay to bomb. There we go. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. How we, there we go. 17,000. Oh, my life. Okay. Or 1,700, whatever you want to call it. 17,000. Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh my life, what, uh, the top three separated by five hundreds. Uh, <laughs> yeah, almost two hundred separating the top two. Yeah. So yeah. we've got Yarham well, from Glock. This is going to be a close one. Um, thank you, Yarham. Thank you, Yarham, for keeping the gap close. Um, yeah, I don't know how many wins Glock is on now. I will have to double check. I know I'm currently leading that. Show uh, off. With 15. <laughs> I know you don't show off in your Jess while it lasts. You know what I mean? That's your yeah. order then. We won't have time to last. go through all of them because... It's never going to last. Hold yeah. on. Um, I think the four-time champion will uh, last for a while. Yeah, because you won it four times. We won it four times. Yeah, four, four, yeah. yeah. Uh, Glock's on 12 wins at the moment, so, you know, he's three shy, so I I'm all right for the moment. Unless he wins tonight, then I might start panicking, but uh, <laughs> for now, I'm all right. I'm okay. That record's intact, uh, but he's got me pole record. Podiums, he's nowhere near. Um, <laughs> Do we go for his standings? Twist it myself. Yeah, let's go for his standings. Go on then. Yeah, well, the drivers are meant to have a two minute break, so hopefully they will follow that two minute break. So, Finley, like I was saying, not here tonight. So, we well, he's on 106 points. I think he's still going to be leading the championship after tonight. I'm almost certain of it. Um, Nick in second on 89, Glock third on 81, Leroy fourth on 79. So for our two Ferraris dropping off a bit in the standings. The key two and Excite both fifth and sixth at Alfa Romeo looking good in the standings. Indigo seventh on 48, Speed Knighton eighth on 45, JP ninth on 44, Lewis Craig tenth on 41. We've got Yarham Deck, Matt Ryan, Casper, Kieran, Kev. Julie Show, Waitsy, Stephen, and Ahmed, and uh, the rest of them are not relevant because they're not on the stat choke it. <laughs> then we've got uh, JTX in 21st, uh, uh, Yours Truly Matter in 22nd, then we've got Waze, Cam, Jack Craig, Gareth, and then we've got uh, a few drivers yet to score actually, Tony P, uh, and well, uh, well, the rest are reserves, so I won't say them, but yeah, Tony P, the only uh, full time driver to not score a point. Naughty M and Constructors uh, look like this. Alpha Tauri still leading by quite some way actually from McLaren. And like I said, Alpha Romeo in third. And we've got Ferrari, House, Red Bull, Aston Martin, Mercedes, Alpine, and Williams. So that's your order. Now I'm looking at well, Glock on pole. Well, that's not going to happen. So uh, we can get rid of that. That that's for sure. And dry, we've got a dry race, so you can cross that. You can cross that because we've got a dry race, and we won't find out about the rest until we get started. Just eating a protein bar. I gathered that. <laughs> I gathered that as well. Luckily, I ate a bit before. I did. I do see some wet tires in somebody's garage, and that's weird. I see some blue tyres, or it might just be in my imagination in the Red Bull garage. I don't think you can select wet tyres. But I see red. I see softs. Oh, you see softs. So, yeah, it's my game having a... a, 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 a I hit found out you're colourblind, Jess. I'm not, I'm not colourblind, <laughs> I promise. I promise. Um, 
So Steven's saying go on team McLaren. Yarham saying let's go. Glock said he bottled it. Oh bless Glock. I mean, oh, there shame. was still it was still time to be still time to be found. He was he was purple middle sector with a twenty six point six zero nine. I think he was purple. In, no, he was a purple final sector. I think that belonged to Nick. So if he just nailed that last sector, he would have been he would have been pole. So let's go through the tire strategy for everybody, just in case anyone is Jeffin um, or Mark. Well, I, I prefer still calling it Jeffin because it's weird saying Markin. But anyway, top three is on mediums with Yarham, Glock, and Nick. So those three look like they're going to have an interesting fight. But I think I'd expect the likes of Lakita and Kieran to close up even more and try and get past these guys who are on, they on mediums. Lakita and Kieran on softs. So it is Leroy. Waitsy and Casper on mediums. Speed Knighton's on softs. Lewis Craig and Steven on hard as Lewis Craig had a bit of a slide coming through turn three and four. Then we've got JP on softs. We've got Excite, Deck, Ways, Tony P on softs. Ahmed on softs as well as Matt Ryan, Judy Show. Um, Judy Show is still not in the session. Hopefully he can get back soon. And Gareth is on softs as well. But it is strategy for some drivers. going to be soft to me. And, but no, the game doesn't know our, our, our rolling. It's a two-stop race. So you have to make two stops and you can't fit under safety car. Your hand's going really fast in the formation up, by the way. Who's your pit map for the win? Um, I'm going to go with Glock. Sorry, your hand. You're going to go, go with Glock. Glock. I'm going to go with... Oof. Casper second. Leroy third. Oh, so Leroy, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Glock as well for the win. Yarham second. Casper third. And they're all mediums. And people are probably who are lower than that are probably going to think, why, what, why is someone lower than me? being predicted for third place. Well, those are my predictions. I might be wrong, as I am with most predictions in commentary. I was completely wrong when I was commentating on Monday. But anyway, five red lights are on around Hungary. Yarham on pole, Glock alongside. It's the worst camera angle ever. But we are racing here in Hungary as Yarham gets a good start from Glock, but Glock's right back on the inside of Yarham. We've got Nick trying to uh, get a good start, but he's absolutely being swamped by Lakitu on soft tyres. Glock to the left-hand side. He takes the lead from Yarham in towards turn two as he goes round the outside. We've got Kieran going side by side with Nick. A bit of contact being made from the Alfa Romeo and the McLaren. Leroy's making way Headway as well, so it's way to Big crash, big the crash. Back. Big crash between Speed Knight and Lewis Craig. Craig. And Pete, yeah, Lewis Craig and Pete. It's, it's a little contact there. I was just about to say everyone's had a clean start there up until that point. Um, so, uh, <laughs> not a great start there. Hopefully, they, uh, they get back running and uh, hopefully uh, a little cheeky safe star helps them out. Matt Ryan Ahmed, uh, I don't know what's going on there. I don't really slow. Um, I think they might, they might uh, I wonder if they got caught speed. up in that as well, but they can get they can get their stops out of the way. What I'm gonna do oh, by the Oh Michelle's gone! Michelle lost it. Safety that's, right, car. that's right, he has. He's done a Perez. Well, you know. But you know, if you know that one. So safety yeah, car, so this I is the do. first safety car in two races, Jess. Yeah, for because we one, haven't the had safety a safety car. car. Was, last week the safety car was on and it didn't come out. And the previous week, well, it, um Michael Pete. actually got involved. Turned it off. And don't forget, yeah, you Michael can't put on the safety car. No. But, but you uh, can, but it's as, non -mandatory. You can, but it won't count as a mandatory, yeah. So, uh, so. I think to make it easy, I'm only so. going to note down the non mandatories because if I just note down yeah. the mandatories, yeah. it takes a long time. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll just. It, w it, worked, it worked on the league on Thursday, so I'm going to do well. the same here. So, Lewis, <laughs> Gareth, and Matt Ryan have done non mandatories. Um, I'm trying to remember the last time we were here at VSL. I remember 
We had loads of safety cars. There was kind of like erratic driving. I think there was a lot of people going to the stewards one that day. And I got a bit frustrated after like the third safety car. Like, why are there safety cars? Last time we were here was season 10. Um, yeah, it was, it was season 10, actually, we were last here. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna actually season. look at the stream to see who won. <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was a long stream. So, so that meant there was lots of safety cars. Oh, it took a while to get going. I don't know why it was one minute forty six. It was, what? Yeah. it was you. I, I think I remember you actually did well that day. You finished second. Oh, yeah, you I finished, finished second. Yeah, you did. Oh, my life. Okay. You finished. You, it was on F one twenty two. Um, but yeah. Uh, well, I was rubbish on that game. Oh uh, yeah, so yeah, it was Tam. Then it was, I, I, I can't remember what <laughs> oh, the order was. Okay. That was before Stewards. It was uh, Tam, Matter, and Simon Palmer in one, two, and three. And Yarham oh, finished okay. fourth that day, and Waitie finished fifth. And okay. well, Yarham's in second, and Waitie's in seventh. Um, I'm sure, race I would have won. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Hungry's one of my favourite tracks on this game because it. Yeah, cause... Fair. I, I did, yeah, I did pretty well in uh, well. The quality I did pretty well in. Uh, uh, you qualified fourth. So, yeah, qualified. No, I qualified. Uh, no, yeah, no, I'm looking at the stream. You qualified fourth. Oh, fourth in that. Yeah, yeah. But on uh, one of last season, I finished. Well, I qualified on pole. Oh, I didn't. I and don't think I, I did. I didn't pit during a safety car. I didn't pit during a safety car. It basically tossed me then. So I yeah. finished fourth. Unfortunately. I think we had but, a uh, we hey had ho. a fast here last season in in one of where and that was probably why I didn't do as well. But I like tracks which require higher downforce. If if a track requires higher downforce, I do well because I can turn and properly and stuff like that. Lower, lower downforce tracks, I I don't do well except if it's Vegas. I think I'm a lot better at Vegas than some other tracks. Um, but anyway, enough about Vegas. We already did Vegas in uh, BSL this season. Yeah, yeah, which is quite surprising, yeah. Pretty early on. Same with uh, Brazil. Um, yeah, last race was pretty late last season. I think it was supposed to be the last race, wasn't it? But uh, Yeah, it was meant to be the last race, yeah, but was. I think tier, we had a rerun for Tier 2, yeah, I believe. Tier, yeah, Tier 2, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, Brazil was is always most likely near the end of the season, but uh, that's happened before even the second week break, so uh, or second break. So Yeah, Portugal uh, is the last race of the season as well. Yeah. We've got two 35% races there. Yes, we do. With both races being two mandatory stops. <laughs> it's going to be tasty. <laughs> yeah, um, we had something similar in um, last week on Tuesday. Oh, I'll, I'll talk about that um, at the end of the stream because safety car's in this lap. So Glock is a Bert Mylander. He's in the Aston Martin. Is it the Aston Martin safety car? No, it's a Mercedes no, it's safety the Mercedes car. Mercedes one today. Never mind. I was going to say so. Aston Martin following Aston Martin, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> so and Aston Martin leading this race. <laughs> yeah, and Aston Martin is leading this race. Yes. So we will see then. Oh, he's gone. He's, he's going. Gone. He's going gone. really early in towards the final corner. So let's see what he can manage. And for the second time tonight, we go green flag. And he's pulling away by three tenths of a second. We've got Kieran has had a good restart as well, as Casper's been, I think, caught napping as well. The top five seems to have been getting away well. Uh, Way's uh, trying to go. Oh, his uh, deck goes wide. That's why Waze was gaining time. Be careful, deck. Don't have an unsafe rejoin free turn two. Doesn't look like he's going to have an unsafe rejoin, which is always good news. I'm trying to find my trap map so I can see the, the corner names. There we go. I've got I've got the corner names. We're all good. But through through turn four they go now. As I think yeah, Wade's lost a bit of time there due to that. So it's top three remain unchanged. Two of the Alpines running line astern. Leroy's still in seventh. Yeah, most of the people have not stayed where they are except Gareth, who's trying to make his way past Judy Show, which he does up the 16th. He's gone on hard, so he's going to try and stretch these for a while. Um, but I guess he doesn't want to use the hards again, so that's why he's gone on to them. But again, it's not mandatory, so you have to pit anyway. As Matt Ryan gets past Judy up to 17th. Yellow flag. That is Lewis Cray that's spun towards the end of the second set to Matt. He's no safety a car. great race tonight, isn't he? No, no safety car yet. Uh, he's, he's not going pretty quickly, but uh, that's going to be a frustrating uh, Best pit stops. start. There's a few pit stops yet. Kieran, uh, yeah, four drivers are in. Yeah. Leroy, Deck, uh, and Tony. Tony Parr, 
Matt Ryan's in as well. Yes. Did I note down Matt Ryan as a non-mandatory? I think I did from earlier. Yeah, I did. So it was Wait, is he on the back of Nick? For P5. Doesn't make it, but sets a yellow flag and sets a one. That Ahmed. is a McWilliams of Ahmed round. And Lewis Again, picked out the race. Again. Are we going to get sick? No, it's retiring the pit lane. No, he's in the retiring of the pit lane. It yeah, was... it's not a, <laughs> not been a great race for Lewis <laughs> Drake, so... No. Uh, understandable. Not, I think... not what you want to see, but it's understandable. Um, but always better, you know. Well, it's no race next it's week. Se so it's it's second helps. DNF in a row. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, not a not a great uh, last couple of weeks for him, but uh, hopefully he'll be back stronger. Uh, hopefully, a lot of drivers will be back stronger after this after this race as well. After after the two week break, we'll be at Singapore yeah. on the third of April. Oh, which... Looking forward to that one. One of my favourite trucks, Singapore. Love Same it. here. To drive. To commentate. Yep. It does take a while. <laughs> but yeah, driving I absolutely love no on this game. Oh, that would be interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, DRS enabled now. Yarham still within the five tenths of uh, Glock. But as obviously there's no DRS yet. Um, oh, Stephen and Pete going side by side oh. towards the start finish straight. We've got yeah, Ahmed Stephen is in the pit lane, Pete, but they've gone but for Pete's damage. Pete's going to go past him here. Sorry, Jess, to overcut you there. No, it's uh, fine. Carry yeah, on. Pete, yeah, down the inside of Stephen into P9. Defends his position, I think, just. I think I think he was defending his position. But uh, Ahmed, yeah, is obviously in the pits. And obviously Dex in his pits. I think he's done another lap. Is That's his mandatory now. So I'm guessing he's going on to Hearts. Um, let me, out the let way, me check, which is all actually. Which understandable because he's on the mediums. So I'm guessing he's going on to Hearts. Which is a, probably a, a, a sneaky smart strategy there from Dex. Um, which I'm surprised Leroy... Has Leroy pitted? Yeah, Leroy's pitted so well. Uh, Leroy's done one stop, yeah. Yep. So the one only stop, one... So, um... so, obviously, Gareth, uh, Gareth obviously did an non-mandatory and so did Matt Ryan. Everyone else so far has done at least one mandatory. So, yeah, Dex, Dex, Dex two-stop is complete, but I know Dex is going to have to go again. But he's probably he's covering off safety so cars. He's on hards, actually. Yeah, I thought he would have yeah. gone on hards, but, yeah, I think he's yeah. covering off any safety cars. So if he pits under safety car... He then doesn't have to come in as all he's been. Uh, uh, Stephen and go, Gareth. Yep, we got Yarham on the back of Glock. He's, he's not close enough. I think Glock's got enough pace on him. He's, it looked like he had a bit more battery than Yarham there, to be fair. And Yarham didn't really use any battery, so um, we're in that sort of battery saving mode there. But Glock looks like he's got enough straight line speed for him from that Aston Martin. Both Mercedes engines in real life, so. Uh, not yes. much gain, it's more on the drag, uh, but uh, even with drag reduction system that doesn't work. But JP on the back of Waitsey, uh, so after a pretty poor qualifier, did he qualify 13th? I think he did, but he's up to 7th at the moment as Leroy gets past Judy Show, which I don't know why I'm getting excited for, because Judy Show is not even here. Uh, but there we go. Um, <laughs> but yeah. I can hopefully can get in because the, the group invites are open, so uh, I, I, I maybe he can get in yeah, as well. I've, but I've yeah. sent him an invite, but he's not. Back, so. so I I yeah. I think I wonder if it's Must like his internet with him, with or the, uh, power cut yeah, either or either internet or uh, wheel issue or whatever. We'll find out later. I'm sure we will. Because uh, he would have uh, been in the Discord yeah, so, now saying, "Can I have an invite?" So yeah, it must have, must be yeah, an so internet be issue. Internet. But uh, oh, Stephen had a bit of a wiggle there, so that's going to allow Gareth to close in slightly uh, from the fast right hander, which I'm sure that could be the next move on because I think Yarham's a bit too far behind here. Four tenths. He was four tenths behind last time, and he's not going to make a move. He's getting some clean air, so sort of struggling there for uh, pace. But uh, the Q2 on seven lap old stuff, so he's going to be struggling now. Uh, so Casper looks to get past him. He's, well, it looks like Casper's saving fuel, so uh, must be under fuel there as Pete's in the pits. Pete is in the pits uh, for his first stop, so he comes Pete's in. I think he's going to go mediums. Oh, Gareth on the passing, no Stephen there. So Gareth will. Uh, Decent move there on O'Steven into turn one. Don't know Stephen getting back. Can he get a better exit? No, he's he's, uh, he's struggling there, O'Steven. So uh, Gareth up to P9. Uh, so, and uh, obviously Julie shows both there, but Pete's obviously in the pits. There's uh, only a close one. Tony Parr's still not caught Julie show there, which is quite surprising. But, uh, mm. but yeah, Kieran down in 11th, three, uh, four seconds off, uh, but two seconds, two and a half seconds ahead of uh, Leroy. So um, he is a net race leader. Covered. Yep. Obviously with the eyes pitting. So, um, well, technically, Dak yeah. is, but out of the ones who have done one stop, Kieran yeah, yeah. is ahead. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it... But, uh, yeah, it looks like there's not much moves going on here. There's a few 
under a second as Tony Bar getting close to Judy show, but that's an easy move there. Hopefully oh, yeah, that's an warning. easy move. We don't need to we follow that. We don't need to follow. No, we got more pitches. <laughs> we got more pitches. Oh, Nikita's in. Nikita oh. in the pits. Yeah, he's on the softs. He had a bit of a moment there. That's going to cost him time, and especially how Casper was so close. That could cost him uh, third, uh, which I did make a prediction there. Uh, <laughs> I can't. I can't. I think I predicted Glock, Yarham, Casper. I think. Or was it? I know. Yeah. I know. I predicted Glock and Casper one I went, and three. Yeah, I went Glock. Or was uh, it Glock, Lakitu, Casper? Casper? I can't second, remember. And then Leroy's third for me. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm yeah, doing Nick well. Nick on a race on his own, but uh, JP still on the back of weights. He's so um, good uh, pace so far from JP. See if we can make a move. It is tricky to do around this race. It's always about adding pressure and see if the driver ahead makes a mistake. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not many. It's not many. It's not really a long enough uh, DRS straight to gain a benefit as uh, Dareth runs wide there. May have picked a warning there. But uh, let me check yeah, actually. But, uh, Has he got a warning? Uh, where is he? P eight. Eight. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kieran on the no back of no Stevens, warnings. So move. No warning. So we, yeah. Plan that well there. Very Plan lucky. A bit longer wide. Uh, but uh, yeah, so Kieran uh, on the back of Judy, uh, not Judy Show. Judy Show's not even there. But Judy, uh, so Stephen. So uh, Stephen's really oh struggling with the rear. Oh goodness. my life. Kieran. My life, he might need to change his pants in the pits. Uh, but Judy Show is. Uh, not Judy Show. Uh, Stephen is really struggling Why are you here. Getting confused not between confused Stephen and Judy Show. I don't know. Don't know. But JP's in the pits. And your hands. Oh, but oh no, my laugh. We're missing this. Sorry, Jess. Yeah, I mean, we're missing a I'll battle for the go. lead here. As here comes Yarham in towards turn two. Glock just about covered it, but that was very, very tight. Heading towards turn three now. Ooh, Does he get the cut back? Side by side. Oh, here we go. It's short. It's short. Up I think Yarham's got a back four. out here. Is he doing a Lewis Hamilton? Oh, oh. It goes wide there. Glock might have picked up a warning there, so that's uh, a. Yeah. He got pick a, a warning. Of a battle, Glock the holds on for now. That is no. He's got no warning. No, okay. How? Okay. So, uh, but yeah, well, that's whatever. But uh, good attempt there from Yarham. He obviously saved a bit of ERS to uh, have a little uh, attack. Probably nearing that pit stage there now. So probably that's why he's, he's, he's probably tried it. Um, but uh, that's cost him a bit of time now. I mean, that probably heated tyres. But uh, Glock's uh, away now. He's, uh, yeah, he's had a bit of a moment. But uh, yeah. Uh, the key two on the back of Leroy. So obviously just pitted as well, so um, the key two obviously got way fresher tyres, four lap fresher tyres, so uh, shouldn't be too difficult for the key two really. He's had a good uh, pace shown from the last few weeks, um, so I'm sure we'll be uh, replicating that once again. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, but obviously it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be uh, easy to pass because uh, of Leroy having DRS on Kieran. Um, Wade is in. So I'm sure he made a move. Yeah, Wade is in. Oh, Wade is in. Sorry. Not Wade. He Wade. Anyway, yeah, well, we got uh, the key to <laughs> trying to get past Lee Boy. We got Kieran on Gav as well. Round Kieran makes a move side round by outside, side. Lakitu, round the outside. Surely. No, he's not oh, going to go around the outside. The marbles, Lee yeah. Boy's made a mistake almost. Though. He's going to have the inside, and he's going to make the move. Yep, yeah, all good there on that front. Um, but uh, yeah, Lakitu up to eighth. Uh, little battle his next target is Gareth who's on nine up old hearts so uh, okay not much of a battle but uh, hopefully he remembers that it's not um, the Thursday league where he does have to pit two more times but he, he, he'll, be, he'll be fine he'll be fine because um, uh, uh, I, I, I know he knows the rules so uh, but um, as he, he wants I guess he wants to stretch out the hearts for as long as he can which is understandable because he wants um more tyres to use for later on in the race. So here comes the key two. Heading towards, what is it? Turn, turn, turn. I don't even know what turn number it is. But it is the the last part of the final set. It was turn 12. Um, and now in towards turn 13. And the entry of 14. I think the key two is going to try and get all oh, Gav run wide a bit. That's going to allow the key two to gain some slipstream that he needs. And he's going to sweep past Gareth on fresh tyres. Here comes Leroy. Here comes Leroy. <laughs> Le I don't I think Gareth saw Leroy then. come in there. And no. Leroy up to eighth place. So he followed Lakitu through and said, thank you very much. That's my place. <laughs> I thought he was doing Lakitu for a second. I thought, I thought so too. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's brave. But uh, 
Yeah, yeah, I'm still on the back of uh, Glock. He had a bit of a dummy last last lap. He uh, sort of went in the pits, but didn't really. Um, probably testing Glock's reactions, trying to get in his head. Uh, but uh, still on the back of Glock there, and no much, not much change there. He's. Uh, are they doing a pit this way? This lap? I'm not sure. I, but, I'm uh, guessing. I lap think 12, lap. Possibly. Probably lap 15. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Lap 15. No, we're in. They'll probably oh, pit they're, right no, now. They're in now. They're in now. <laughs> I thought it's 12 laps, so you'd already, already do two stops, so it's got to be... Uh, it's got to be all the top three are in. in the pits as well. Sure, yeah. oh, Nick stays Nick, out, no, though. No, Nick is staying out. Okay. He's... Well, you can't really band on a safety car because you can't pit under a safety car, but okay. Yeah, you, yeah, uh, you, yeah, you can't pit under a safety car, unlike other leagues where you can. Yeah, and Waits is staying out as well. Uh, but here comes Tyrion, who's going to take the provisional lead at the moment. The net uh, race lead. on the Bert back of him. Keith is on the so back, yeah. Actually, oh, no, maybe not. Oh, my God, Glock is so close. <laughs> Didn't realise Glock was that close, but uh, there we go. But Lakitu now takes the provisional lead. So uh, a but great strategy longer? call there from Lakitu. He needs to get past Kieran, though, quickly and cleanly, obviously. But Kieran holds on. He tries to push him out wide like Nico Hultenberg. And there's oh, going to be a no, crash here. Gonna oh, my goodness well. me. It's not doing well. well. Kieran's all my life. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They, they kept it clean. The, uh, they kept back. it clean. Fair play to oh, them. Oh, my life. And yeah. Glock does not want to be Good by aggression. that traffic. Just Neither does Johan. Yeah, yeah, not aggression. Yeah, not And the key two really needs to get past Kieran there. Um, oh, my love. A bit of contact there. Just uh, Kieran had a bit of a wiggle. And that's massive. That's not going to help him. And the T2's doing it really frustrated here because he really needs to get past uh, Kieran. I will say that again. Um... This is just only holding him, it's costing him now because with the He's block got a breeze on through. Four, like, pressure tyres, he's making it move. Is he going to go for it now? He is. Oh, as Kieran breaks a bit earlier than Glock was expecting. And he's hit the back of him. I don't think he's got any damage. He's going to go down the inside. No, not quite. Glock holds on, uh, down, stays on to fifth and waits for that DRS. Is Kieran going to go for Lakitu? Lakitu is looking for that uh, thing and waits. He spits up a penalty for speeding the pit lane. That's going to cost him later on. But here comes Kieran as all ball off as he tries to catch the DRS at. Slipstream of Lakitu doesn't quite get it, but here comes Glock down into uh, the inside and it moves into. But here comes the inside of. I don't know, Yarham, there we go. I don't do really commentary much, but there you go. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> takes the lead, benefits off Glock, uh, battling Kieran there. So here we go, it's going to be the first in line. The Yarhams are get past the Lakitu, but Lakitu takes the lead then after the first round of pit stops for the top three. So. There you go, Jesters. They're both, I think they're both from wide there behind, so they may have picked up a warning there. But uh, Matt Ryan on the Battle of the Wooden Spoon uh, gets past Ahmed. Um, but there you go. Uh, Quite a bit has uh, happened then in the last few laps. So I, I'm glad I let you have your moment there. By the way, Lakita and your hammer's picked up one warning so far. Glock's got zero. Kieran's got zero. Casper's on two. So he's one warning away of a penalty, but I'm not sure if it's collisions or anything like that. So, Nick, by the way, has dropped down to seven, seventh in the pit stops, but I think he's going to get past Gareth. Yes, he is. So, he's up to seventh. And I think Wait is going to try and get past um, Speed Knight and if he closes up as well. I believe most people have done their first stop. Leroy's, I think, going to do a second. Yep, he is. We've got a battle for the lead, though. Johan versus Lakitu. Yarham goes around the right-hand side of our screens anyway. So he's going to come cut back once again. Is Are we going to see it? Is that got moment in towards turn three and four? He's going to hunt for Lakitu's position. Yarham's going to pull away like no tomorrow. Lot's going to try and open the door. Is Glock going to get Lakitu? Yes, he does. What a move from Mr. Glock up to second. He was looking for that one. He Glock's on all the newer tyres as a key to once again gets past it once more I don't know what happened there but Glock must have made a mistake but that's allowing Yarham to pull away by one second Lakita in second Glock third Casper in fourth he's catching up to this train as well Kieran's dropped down to fifth but Glock almost got past Lakita but Lakita was like you're not having that place Missy oh lakitu has gone wide so much going on as Glock tries to go around the yep. outside of the well, final two corners. There's a bit of contact on the uh, right-hander, Jess, or the left-hander. Past the left-hander over the hill, so uh, which meant Latitu had to run wide or Glock had to run wide. So uh, I think that's right, why he okay. let go of the yep. position. Uh, Glock's going to try again so, uh, now. 
There you go. But uh, always having a bit of wheel. He's not happy oh with that. Oh my god, maybe uh, not the braking. You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> You're not allowed to move on the well, braking. I think it's just, just wiggling, to be fair. Oh, he was wiggling, okay. Gaz yeah. did for his first stop, by the way. Frustration. It's like a wave fist, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, Darius making another stop. Um, his fir so his first mandatory, to, uh, his first green flag stop because he done one yep. under safety car. Yep. So he's doing what Nick is doing. He's doing two soft stints. I think Waze is doing the same. Actually, no, what, what, what? No, Waze has done two softs and he's doing two softs and a medium, Waze is. Whereas uh, Gareth and Nick are doing a me. Uh, well, on Gareth's case, it's. Um, well, he started on softs, then he's gone on to hards, and then he's doing weaves, and then he's doing softs again. So he's pretty much using every every time imaginable, which is fair enough. But Yarham still was leads. Leroy's on hards, by the way. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Leroy's on hards, so he's going to get to the again, end of the race. And that's going to allow Casper up into uh, third. So uh, they need to a bit of a rare mistake there, but I think that might be a bit of a game of DRS chicken there, Jess. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, we'll see how that gets on, but obviously Lakita on seven lap hold mediums and Casper's on three, so I don't think I think you should be fine really. Uh, but yeah, Casper up to third. I did see a bit of a message where he had a bit of an incident with another driver, I think with Pete in qualifying, so that might be reviewed later in the stewards. But uh, I think that's what may have cost him, and that's why he was down in qualifying. That would be uh, a qualifying he's shown his band, wouldn't it? Now. So. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, Nick uh, up to fifth. His next target is Lakita. There's obviously Nick's on those softs, so um, yeah, always help him, but uh, obviously with Glock second, it's uh, there, but that gap has come down slightly. Uh, obviously with Yarham following Glock previously, it's always good to follow the car, you get used to that, but when you're on your own, you you, you sort of make a little mistake, especially when the pressure is with Glock behind you. Five, it's around you, about five tenths quicker than the, yeah. than the medium, the so... Nick's got to get a move on if he wants to get past. He's already catching up to Lakeith to an already in this fight. Oh. So I had oh, doubts on his strategy. But I think his strategy is working wonders because he's... I think he was stretching out his medium stint and he's going to... I'm going to call it now. I think he's going to do two soft stints. And he's going to take it, Where's I think, nine laps. So around about lap 24, I think he's going to come in end of lap 24 to go on to a set of softs. That's my call, Possibly. I think. Possibly, so, but it's a bit of a battle for twelfth, uh, thirteenth. Sorry, Jess. Uh, uh, Nick is Matt getting Ryan, past the key to up to fourth, but Gareth. let me go to thirteenth. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. That's a nice, easy move there for Nick, and he sets his now sights. See if he can close that gap of two and a half. Well, he's already closed a bit of a gap there, but two and a half seconds on to Casper. See if he can claim that third. But uh, I'm sure Gareth. Oh, my love is going. Oh, that was close. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, Gareth, can you make a pass? He's got loads of VRS where these guys haven't got really Here he anything. goes. So this will be an easy move here now. He's going to send it on back. He's going to get the is. double. Yep, he's got the tyres, he's got the ERS, and he moves into 13th. And what the move? battle of the, the fastest speed driver <laughs> goes back to Gareth. But Love obviously, it. just ignore Speed Kieran there in 6th. Uh, and Speed uh, Knighton. And speed Knighton in 9th. Uh, Pete's having a bit of a quiet race at the moment, uh, but obviously Waze on. Oh, Waze is having a decent but, so race as well. There, so yeah, yeah. Uh, but obviously Leroy is obviously closing in on him now. And those softs are surely going to go off soon, or they're going off anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, I would Ahmed, like to see the tire wear, but obviously we don't get that on this game. Yeah. No, not quite, not yet. Maybe next game. Oh my life, oh Stevens! That oh Stevens really struggling with the rear uh, today. He's had so much. He's running low wings. Steering moments. So he's running either low wings or too much on the front end. Um, he's probably got his setup from TT, and that sometimes helps and sometimes hinders. And it looks like it's hindering, hindering him. That's why go. you got to spend time yeah. on your setup and figure out which one is right for you, because you want to get the right balance. Some some people they may want high wings, but you're going to be very slow on the straights. Oh, but it's locked on to make a move on. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, second set to so it's fine. Sorry, I just saw the gap as one tenth, but I think your Leroy's going to get past uh, Ways here, and then he's turn turn two. He does. Ways holds it round the outside, but Leroy's going to have the uh, fresher tyres, fresher tyre advantage, and he moves into tenth. So, again, Leroy has completed his mandatory stops, so he's hoping for a little late safety car that he's banked on the last few races. Well, last well, two wins that he's got this season. Um, 
a little safety tire late drama or late safety tire drama there you go i'll get my words out eventually um never guess i passed them my gcse english um, <laughs> there we go. um <laughs> i i i only got a c in gcse england english who would have, who would have thought um, well it's too much shakespeare isn't it really there we go but here we go no, no, on I the back well of your arm down the inside anyway. <laughs> yeah clock down the inside of your arm enough about shakespeare oh my goodness <laughs> oh me. no what happened Oh, oh, oh my goodness! It was the camera. I think went to come her back across to cover Yarham, and they made a contact, and Yarham nearly put him into the barrier. But Casper's they saved them. face, and that may be a bit of a tactic there from Glock, possibly to break out of that DRS range. But uh, didn't Glock's work. he's got the pace at the moment, and Yarham's got the pace, but he's using a bit more ERS than Glock has, and uh, way. Uh, Baze is in the pits and Ahmed's in the pits, so they've that's their two well, stops done, I believe. They're mandatory now, yep. So, again, they're hoping for a little late safety car if they can. But uh, in terms of pace, uh, Nick is still over two seconds behind uh, Casper, so Casper, good pace showing from him there. Um, and these softs are now going to start going off as well. He's picked up a penalty for Corner Trot in, yeah. Though he's just exited the pits, so. Interesting. Um, no, that was Ahmed who the pit, the pit. Oh. oh, okay, never mind. Uh, but there we go then. So, uh, yeah, um, this is a bit of a struggle now. He's, he's on the same lap old uh, tyres as uh, Glock, but Glock is it's not much of a difference. But, you know, as, uh, as he loses that ARS, he needs to keep in that DRS here. I'm sure, I think looking at Red Island setups in terms of straight line speed, I think Glock's, uh, has got a bit more wing. Uh, yes, I can tell. In the middle sector, but uh, with Glock has obviously got a bit more less wing, so he's, uh, he's out from the straights. So it's pretty close between the dyers, uh, but Casper, Casper's out of nowhere. What's going on here? I think these boys have been battling across them a load of time, but Casper, I wouldn't believe, will have been to third, and he's he's not even that far off the lead. Again, starting eighth. He's, 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 he's he gaining positions. Race. He's a dark horse. He's a bit of a dark horse here, dear Jess. I think There's in most leagues I've seen him in, he started lower down and he's gone Kieran. to finish well as well, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah we, he had a really difficult start to the season. Uh, I think he's found his form in, as well. In one hub. But uh, these last few rounds in, in both uh, leagues... Um, as, uh, and, the and, and, he, and, he got a, and he got a win last Thursday night as well. By yep, starting, so I think he started so low down as well. I think he started fourth or fifth or something. And he went on to win. Yeah, so... Yeah, so that bit of collaboration between the uh, the league joining ERT has uh, started to pay off. Um, so uh, yeah, but uh, wait till on the back of Kieran. Kieran on 16 lap old mediums and he's yet to pit and he's staying out, which is uh, will be interesting. He's losing that rear. But, uh, he's gonna go yeah, on soft, sure I think, Matt at the end. Wait till now. Uh, okay, but uh, yeah, so wait till easy move there. Uh, as he goes in to sixth, but he does have that penalty to serve, so I'm sure Kieran's not going to be too stressed about that. Uh, but uh, yeah, Casper set in the race. He's got the most ERS from compared to the top two. Um, so he's he's just settling in here. He's got the same lap old tyres. He's he, he, know, he knows he's he's got the pace and uh, um, he's just about finding that limit. See if he can make a move. There's nothing, no stress now. He's got. 13 laps to go as JP picks up a penalty. Naughty. Uh, but uh, Tony Parr and Matt Ryan are coming into the pits. Right, I need to check if that's Matt Ryan's mandatory stops done. So remember, he did a non mandatory earlier. Yes, Matt Ryan has done his mandatory stops now. There we go. So it, um, basically, so it is the top nine yet to stop, as well as Gareth and Stephen. Casper's and the, the AI of Julie show. Casper's in the pits. He's going for the undercut, Jess. That's how Nixon as well. Speed in the pit lane. He's going to be close. Oh, he's not speed in the pit lane. So that's, that's and Nixon as well. So and the key two's in as well. So this should be a bit dangerous here from Glock and Yarm if they don't react straight away because they could be in. Nick's uh, on mediums and Casper's on, on mediums. softs. He was just on softs though. To be fair, he was just on softs. So when Casper's on gone on softs. He's going to do twelve laps on. 12 what, laps on softs. On softs. I, I, I would predict 11, strategy. but not not 12. Is, is track position going to be okay? He's, he knows he's got ERS But he's done his so two stops, so if he has He's got DRS as well. So, is track position really going to help here? I what, don't think so. The gap... It's going to be interesting. 
but the undercut here, but obviously Nick's right behind Pete, and that's not going to help him any bit. And obviously Lakitu's behind Leroy by, by a fair bit, actually. So um, we'll see if uh, I think uh, Glock and Yaham are going to hold on to second and third on the podium places for now, because I think it's Nick. No, Pete, what's Pete doing? He's defending. He's trying. Which is He's going quite for it. interesting. He's on 15 lap old mediums. He's defending the car. He's on faster tyres, but fair play. There's no rule that you can't, so it's racing. In any, in, in, any, in any league, you're encouraged to defend even you if you're on older tyres. Glock's staying out, Jess. Glock is staying out. So a safety car right now will absolutely screw over It would Glock hinder here. him. Yep. Good PG word there, just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to say a swear word, but it will, it will, it will mess him up basically. As wait to go yep. into second. Um, to bear in uh, mind, yeah, the top so four still yet to pick. Casper, going to be close between that. him and Yacht. Yep. Way, uh, no, way ahead. No, he's got yeah, way ahead. Three point two. Yeah. And your hands on the softs as well. So, um, yeah, oh. so Casper looks like by looking at that gap, I think Casper's in the uh, provisional lead. Yeah, and but he's closing in on I think Kieran. I know what Glot's doing here. He's going to go probably this lap or next lap and hopefully have that tyre advantage which will pay dividends right at the end. Yeah. Um, so I he knows think... he's pace anyway, so um, it's a smart move here. Um, he knows he's going to get undercut, so why not just you know go for the tyre advantage instead? Um, but, uh, yeah, Jasper 3, well, 34 seconds ahead of uh, Yarham, so it's a brilliant undercut there, and Nick... That's actually cost him there, but being behind Pete, and Pete's obviously in the pits, so uh, I'm surprised he hasn't. If it was um, a lap later, he would have been fine, as Casper yeah, breezes past Kasper. JP. Oh, my life. Yeah, and he said, yep, yeah, is Tieran going to hold him up here? Teammates, again, remember, for tonight, again, they've won the championship back together in Season 8 when they were teammates. But I think Tieran's just got enough pace to hold on, but uh, this is going to help uh, give Casper a bit of DRS. I no don't think Tieran's fine, but, uh, this one he's letting throw. But Glock is out of the pits. He's on softs. But Where Kasper, is Glock? Oh my life! Casper has used quite a lot of. Uh, he's he's, he's gone loads, ten percent. He's, quite, he's used he used it mostly all really. He, to he's got enough fuel. Get there. But uh, oh oh my goodness me, Yarham! Oh my life, Yarham and Glock together again. As uh, Yarham just about holds on, but Glock well not just holds on. He just it's about like deja vu. Uh, stays behind. Yep. And uh, these two are going to carry on battling. And you know what? This is going to help Jess if they keep on battling. It's going to help, help, help the guys Kasper. in front. Yep, and you know who's uh, the rear gunner for Casper uh, right now? Kieran. Kieran. So uh, this is going to, I'm sure Kieran's going to hold out for as long as possible. I don't know how long these mediums last. I don't and think they last much last <laughs> 22 laps <laughs> before puncture. 22 laps, so uh, yeah, so it, I think this is a bit of strategy now there. Um, I think Glot's going to get within DR, a DRS range here. Can I? And, uh, I he's got his telemetry on. So can I? straight on waitsy. Yeah, no, no he's fighting not waiting there. At all. Um, I'm just trying to see. Kieran, I think he's put quite a bit. Oh no, wait! I'm just trying to there see how go. much so, fuel oh, he's my got. Oh my God! going to go around the outside. This is where Kieran's going sort to of push him out wide. I think. No, he's not even going to do that. He's tried to, but he's not quite. To, he's not doing to do that. Bit of a screen Kieran's freeze. Use all of his driver. ERS. Is he going to send it down the inside? Surely. Oh, here no. comes Yarham! Yarham, that's a great move there from Yarham. Nicely done. Had to take done. the opportunity. Yeah, had to take the opportunity. Lock up to third. And, uh, he gets up to fourth. Yeah, well, not pretty, yeah, provisionally third. Uh, Waits, he's next. Both, obviously, both in ERT, so is Waits, he's gonna possibly hold Lock up? Possibly. Waits, he's still yet to start, remember. I think Waits, he is yeah. um, checking stops. Waitsy oh, and them. Kieran are the only ones yet to do their oh, mandatories well, as Gav does his second. <laughs> yeah, Ga yeah Glock goes, gets past Waitsy. There goes Casper's last rear gunner and Glock's got two lot fresher tyres, so uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gav's done his final mandatory go. stop, so oh, yeah, it's just Waitsy and Kieran, Kieran to do their mandatories next. Oh, I'm guessing Waitsy's going to pit this lap for softs. I'm calling it now, and if he doesn't, Oh, as uh, Yarham saying thank you very much. That's my position again. So I think that's gonna. I think once Waitsy and Kieran out the pitch, that's gonna promote Nick to fourth. And yet yeah, Waitsy comes in now, so he's gonna try and get the undercut on Kieran, and probably go for fastest lap, which is worth two points. Blocks set the fastest lap of the race, 
which is around about a second quicker than Casper. So, he's already caught up to Casper in quite a yep. bit of laps now. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll see what he can do. I, I think he's going to get past him, but you never know. It is all about defending, I think, around this track. It's one thing catching a driver here. There's another thing in passing him, and it's very tricky. But again, it can depend on, on, on the pace of these drivers. Glock almost within DRS. Uh, so where's Waitsy come out? Waitsy's going to come out ahead of uh, yeah, Lap Judy Show. But he's going to come out way ahead of Waze. So, yeah, he's coming out in 10th. Yep. yep, so he's had to serve that five-second penalty. Oh, yes. Uh, so it would have been ahead of Pete. Uh, he would, yeah, he would have been ahead of Pete. Uh, but it's not Kieran. Now, so, uh, yeah, but uh, Casper uh, and Glock. I, I sure. think I think Glock's going to try and go for it. Throw everything on this now, but I think Glock's going to make the move pretty easy. Um, hopefully not, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see. Impartial, uh, but, yeah, man. Yeah, Impartial. Yeah, fallen, fallen behind by three seconds. Here comes Glock. Right. Look yeah, at that speed that he's going into the to the straight. He goes. And Glock's going to take the lead. I don't think Casper was challenging him there. I think Casper's pretty happy for second. Yeah, I, th uh, I think this is a uh, vintage Glock here, by the way. This is a Glock this we the Glock wanted we to seen see. Last season. Yeah, we haven't seen this season. So you, you, most of the time uh, he wants to start at the back, but then he realised actually I'm not. He's not going to gain that well, much point I th by I doing think, that. Well, I think the uh, last few rounds he's like he's sort of given up on the championship, even though he's pretty close. He's still, he he's still, still pretty close. He can so still win. So that's why I think he's been qualifying at the back. And then I think with Finley not racing tonight, he's thought, oh, this he's going to have to jump Nick. So he's, he's, I he's decided to try hard. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think, <laughs> so there you yeah, go. I think he may jump Nick a little bit, but I'm just trying to see because it's 25 points for a win, isn't it? Plus, yep. um, plus, plus one for fast one lap. For so. Lap. It's 81 so plus 25. He'll right be. Now. Yeah, he's got Ooh. the fastest lap right now. So he, he will be. Lap, so he's doing joint. Points. He'll be joint on points. Uh, on Finlay. Yeah. yeah. But if he gets fastest okay. lap, he would be leading by yeah. one point. But obviously. Uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, he's got the fastest lap currently. Uh, uh, fastest lap is Glock. Yeah, he has got the fastest lap. The nearest uh, person well, How many points is fourth place, is by Nick. the way? How, how many points? Th uh, fourth place? It yeah. is 11. 11, oh my god, that's going to be 13, close. No, 13, sorry, 13 points, 13 points. 11 and 2, so yeah, it points. will be, as it stands, it will be Finley and Glock, it will be Glock, top of the championship by one point, and then it will be Finley and second, Nick and third. Yeah. All three and quite tight, it will be all three quite behind. tight in the championship. Uh, <laughs> but it's and not Lee over, Nick, he's going to try and get past Yalhan for third. Your ham is struggling on those sauce, whereas maybe the medium does probably help Nick. He knows he can get yeah, to the end of the race on these yeah. tires. Yeah, I think it's probably the better tire for Nick. And uh, obviously, your ham's obviously 11th in the championship. Hasn't had a great. He's, he's, he, we know your ham's got the pace, but he, you know, season on he season, it. It sort of just doesn't happen. Yeah, he just have that consistency um, that obviously all the guys do, uh, which is unfortunate. You know, he, he does have the pace and. Straight driver, but uh, just lacks that consistency um, in terms of results. So, um, yeah, so I'm sure Nick has done a, he's obviously got the better race tyre. He's got five laps to make this move to the third. And I think that's going to be then the, your podium there, Jess, I think. Um, I think, yeah, I you think it's going to be no there challenge for Nick, there. I think. We never yeah. know. And, it, go. and Nick's got plenty of ERS as well. He didn't even need to use it. So, Nick... Yeah. Getting past Yarham up to third, but is Yarham fighting back? Yarham's fighting back in towards turn two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but, no. oh, he had a bit of a slide there. No, not quite. Bit of yeah. drifting, which he has. To be fair, that's actually gained him time. <laughs> As Waitsy well, gets past Pete up to ninth. But, uh, oh, Pete, yeah, yeah. So there you go. So that gap's, uh, yep. So he's got two. Well, he's got the same lap, but, uh, well. What race was it? Was it? Uh, it was Spain all over again, wasn't it? When we had that battle between Kieran and Waitsy. Yeah, they and they're fighting again. Together. So you know they've got very similar pace between these two drivers, and uh, it's great to see. Um, it so is I'm great sure to see. Is going to come down when they especially got the same pace, um, but, uh, <laughs> the same amount of tyres. So uh, it's uh, JP on the back of Leroy. 
I don't think we're going to hit a late safety charge, yes, and uh, I think JP's going to move up to sixth, and that's going to drop Leroy further back behind, and I think it's going to help Nikita. JP Close has in. got that penalty, though. Yeah, true. And so does Nikita. But he's got way fresher tyres. That uh, is true. <laughs> so, but the stuff's going to die off very soon, as Casper's now firing out, because uh, he's on eight-lap old softs. I think... Uh, Noldo for four more laps, he's got 12 more laps, and here at Nick... He's got more ERS, so Nick would close in here if he can. You can close. Depends I don't think you're closing on Glock, but I think you're closing on Casper. Yeah, let's have a look at the last few lap times there from the two. I... Uh, 19 five, low 19s for Casper. What is Nick doing? Nick last, last lap was Nick's a... doing 18s, 18 six, and 18s. Three, yeah, so yeah, yeah. 18, 18 so six like, minutes, like 19, set, five. Yeah, yeah, he's about a second quicker he's about than half Casper. a second to a second quicker. So, um, whereas yeah, Nick so is two, te Nick is two tenths quicker than Glock. Okay. Well, I think Glock's just a. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's fine. He's got the win, so he's just bringing it home now. I think. Um, he, yeah, so, he's uh, still got the fastest. Yeah. That would have won seventy zero, but he's dropped the pace by like one and a half seconds so far. So is Casper, I think, as well. So, yeah, I think the drop-off is coming off ever so slightly. I think the top three, I think, I don't think Nick's going to have time to catch up to Casper. So I think the top three is going to remain as it is. If they had, like, two or three more runs, I think they well, would have got it. No, it's 2.8, Jess. So if you can get this below two and a half seconds with three laps to go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, anything can happen in VSL, yeah. of course. I think his target now is if he can get below two and a half seconds and then possibly below two seconds. So yeah, I think his target and is Casper now. below one second on the last lap. I think that's going to be his target there. Is he just going to pick up a warning there? But especially with Casper on the one warning left. Championship's on the line for Nick. From Nick. Yeah, if you can apply a bit of pressure. I think it, it, if he uh, gets Casper, second... If you get that penalty, then uh, it could be interesting. Yeah, because if you uh, get second, sort of... you'll... Uh, if, uh, if you get second in the race, I think, if my calculations are correct, I but think he could be leading difference. the championship. Yeah. So he's currently 15 points. If he can get second, he moves up to 20 points. So uh, those five points are going to be crucial. Any points are crucial. We so know yeah, he'll like be five, it'll be five points field. clear of the top of, the, of Glocker and Finlay. Yeah. Oh. But uh, yeah, JP still doing back over. JP doing well. JP still penalty. behind Leroy. Yeah. So yeah, so JP still on the back of Leroy hasn't been able to get past him, and that's allowed Kieran to close in ever so slightly. Uh, both uh, Leroy and uh, Kieran are obviously both in speed, team speed. So uh, uh, even though Leroy doesn't like to represent the colours, that's shocking, really. Oh, uh, as JP well. runs wide. Uh, here comes yep. Kieran. And that's going to allow Kieran. And JP's not going to like that. But they've both got DRS and uh, Kieran's up to seventh. Which I'm sure he does hold on. Yes, he does. So there we go. But. Uh, no, no, JP's not going to hold back. I don't think he is. But you I know, I thought about the gap being below two and a half seconds, Jess. He's now 2.1. 2.1. Now it's 2.2. So, 2. Uh, it's not over yet, Jess. It's not over yet. It's not Castle over. We'll, we'll want to hold on to second. But uh, those tyres don't hold on. I don't think they will. Two laps 1. to go. 1.9. It's coming down thick and fast. Yep, it's coming down. So he needs... Yep. So if he can he... get below a second, heading into the last lap, as Johan picks up a penalty, that's not going to really cost him much, because look, he's got a penalty, and there's a 13-second gap between... Yeah, so, they're gonna, so, so, so it's, so it's basically like there. too close for comfort, but he's not going to gain much anyway. Casper's, oh, by the way, one Ryan. morning... Oh, my life. A bit of an instant there between three drivers there. Oh, what, oh Stephen, the Deck and, and Ahmed. I just caught the back of that. <laughs> I didn't that's, see well, that. That's going to be interesting. Well, oh, yeah, they just Steven. made a bit of sandwiches. Uh... Oh, my life. Oh, oh my. they made cost... Oh, oh, no, my life. Oh, You're my... allowed to do that in oh, one league, but you can't do it in this league. Yep. No. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> well, Ahmed might have picked up damage there, possibly. I think, I think he did pick there. up damage. I don't think he... It doesn't look like he's got damage, but... Um... He's, he's not but it's annoying that we can't corners. tell if he's got damage. As he's gone deep, yeah. It doesn't look like he's got any wind damage, but on the, on my screen, so. No, it doesn't look know, like it. If not, it might be very minor, like three percent. Yeah, it does look slow, yeah. So he may have like a light green or an amber 
wing. Oh, wait, it, wait, I, I had. F it must I, have damage because Steven's just so quicker, so much quicker. In Zam for uh, Steven's trying to go for the move here. I, I um, since oh, in I one think, hub we uh, used Taz. Yeah. Um, I only found out at the end of the race that I I picked up three percent wing damage throughout the whole oh, race. Yeah. And that was because of the contact yeah. I made in turn one. And the game didn't, yeah. didn't pick it up, but Taz did. So that might be one of those situations, I think, for Ahmed. Final lap uh, of this race. Uh, yep, yeah, and Nick's fallen behind. So uh, I think Nick's yeah, settling for third he's, here. He's I don't think he wants to challenge too much. I think he's not yeah. pushing, which is fair enough. Yeah, yeah. which cost uh, him. If he loses this championship by five points, Jeff, so he's going to kick himself. I know. It's these moments here that all count. That you don't think they do at the time, but they do. Or um, Casper's no found, hand. I think, more time this lap. I think, yeah, he has found oh, more he, time he, this lap. Casper's low on fuel, by the way. He's, red, he's flashing red. Um, let me check. Fuel, he's flashing Hang red. on. Uh, Casper. And Glock is flashing red. Oh, no. No, no. I think they'll be fine. I could be on the border. I, I think they'll be, the be fine. I could be on the border. Yeah, I, I think they'll I think they'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, possibly. But uh the I think I think the they timed it just right as well. Here comes Glock as he exits yep. the Banana Corner, he's driven. I think Hungary's one of those tracks where you more than likely gonna run out of fuel if you time it wrong. We only have one safety car. He hasn't won a race in a very long time, but he's gonna end his winless streak. Glock wins in Hungary by 4.4 seconds. Casper takes second. Nick third. And Yarham will come across the line in fourth with Lakita in fifth. And I don't think it's going to change because they both got penalties. And like you were saying, the gap is between them is 15 seconds. Meanwhile, oh my goodness, it's a four way fight for PC. Wow. Oh, Leroy's went out of yeah. fuel. Oh, that's a little. Oh, I thought I was just about to say, Leroy, that's a brilliant drive for P6, but. Yeah, Leroy's oh, went out no. of fuel. Oh, no. That would have helped me in the championship if he finished P6, but P9. Oh, no. He got P8. P8 and the penalties. penalties. Leroy. Uh, Leroy. <laughs> how can you yeah, run out of P9. fuel? There was a safety car. He must have a massively underfueled. Oh, well, I don't he, know how you're oh. not saving fuel either. But uh, there you go. Yeah, but yeah. Gareth, he, P11, that's a good result for Gareth. Yeah, decent result for him, yeah. Uh, but ways with the penalty, I don't think it's going to. Him too, I don't think so he's, he's going well, yeah. he's got, I think, three oh, seconds, yeah. Uh, oh, no. Matt, Deck, Matt, Ryan, Matt, Matt Ryan's run out of fuel, Matt Ryan's run out of fuel. Out of fuel too. <laughs> You're at the back of the grid, Matt Ryan. <laughs> How can you run out of fuel? I, I, uh, yeah, but, but, but he's lucky because uh, Stephen... He scores, on, he scores points, possibly. Yes, he does. He does yeah, score points because Stephen was lapped. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, How has that worked? Well, because O Stevens finished five tenths on the street, he's five tenths behind him, but <laughs> because O Steven was lapped. <laughs> I think he would I think he would have finished ahead otherwise. Yeah. I think I think they might have just got lapped as well. So Matt Ryan, that could be the luckiest one point you'll ever get. You'll in your ever life. see, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, uh, according to Discord chat, Yarham had side pod damage, so that's why he lost all that pace. Interesting. I will. I will have to do some maths on uh, what this does with the championship in uh, just a moment, if I can find the format. There we go. We'll go through your results then um, very soon. As we got Glock, who currently, well, provisionally he wins. He's gonna, he's going to keep that win. So great job on him. Really good job, and he gets fastest lap, so he gets maximum points. Uh, well, not maximum points because he didn't get a pole. Yarhan got a pole, so he'll get a point for the pole. Um, Kasper second, Nick third, Yarhan fourth, Lakitu fifth, Kieran sixth, Waitsy seventh, Leroy eighth, then we got Pete, JP, Gareth, Waze, Tony, Deck, Matt Ryan, then we've got Steven, Ahmed, a lap down, and then your two reti three retirements, Julie Show, Lewis Craig, and Michelle. So Glock will be on, but at the end of tonight, Glock will be on 107 points because he got fastest lap. Nick ended up getting 15 points, so that would still put him in third, I think, in the championship. Yeah, that will put him in third because he'll be on 104 points. So yeah, it will be 
Glock in the lead of the championship due to his fastest lap point. They'll be Finley in second and Nick in third. And all of them separated by a few points. This is going to be a close championship, but next week we're not racing. We've got a break week, but when we come back, <laughs> we've got one of our favourite tracks, well, both of our favourite tracks to race on in this game, Singapore. Then we've got China, Belgium and Portugal. I'm, I'm excited well, for race 12 because 235% races. Back end races. of the stretch. Yep, back stretch, back stretch of the season or back end of the season. There we go. Last season on F123 because obviously F123 is... Oh, well, yeah. F124 is yeah, coming out F1 a month. F1 season, yep. Official F1 season, but we could do one more little thing. You've got, you've got two things time. in the pipeline, but you only got time for one because the game comes out on the 31st of May. Yeah, would you... it'll be fine. <laughs> Unless you have no, time to fit no, all two, two of them. Um, two oh. of the things you've got planned. <laughs> Definitely one. Definitely going ahead. Hopefully, new, probably news will break over. Probably, the break week. Yeah, probably break week. So make break. sure you stay tuned um, on socials for that at BSO underscore F1. Also follow us on YouTube and Instagram and all that stuff. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell if you are new. Follow our rally, rally Twitter as well at BSO underscore Rally. I think it's round three this week, I believe. Yep, we're in the snow. Sweden. Scandinavia. No. Oh, is Scandinavia. it not Sweden, is it? Norway. No, Norway. Sweden. No, that I've got a Scandinavian yeah, country, Norway. just the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Might as well be, uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you, I, I, have you been to Sweden yet um, in the championship? Uh, yeah, we did the pre-season there. Oh, you did the pre-season there. there. Season, oh, there. right. Yeah, oh, we did pre-season at uh, Sweden and Finland. But, uh, we're going. Oh yes, so Scandinavia's going from now till the 25th of March. So they got until next week yep. to get their things in. But yeah, yep. Abby's so on score one, running for that. Then we got that. Estonia, then Oceania, Monte, Car Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo. Oof, it's, it's not Monaco. Central it's... European Rally, and then Finland to round it off. Oh, that's good. That's so going to be. Rounds. Eight rounds. It's pretty close. There's only two points separating the top two at the moment in the championship after two nice. the first two rounds. So that's always good. Um, but yeah, no, if you want to get involved, obviously join, uh, obviously if you've got the WRC game, the new EA Sports WRC game, uh, join the club, VSL Rally, um, and get to uh, Get rally involved. It. Join the Discord yeah. as well, which is, I think, in the description. But we will we will leave us there. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Next race will be Singapore, like I was saying, on the 3rd of April. Don't expect there to be a race next week, because if you do end up, Looking at the channel saying, where's the stream? Well, you're going to be disappointed there's no stream. So, yeah, see you in two weeks' time for the Singapore Grand Prix. And then you'll, f and then you'll keep an eye on socials for if there's any standing updates, which you'll... don't know, actually. It doesn't look like there's going to be many reports. A cleaner, clean race uh, in, in terms of hungry standards. Probably the cleanest race I've ever commentated on around Hungary. So, well done to all the drivers. But anyway, see you next week. No, see you in two weeks' time. Have a good evening, everybody. Bye.